Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So Joggy here says hi, hello as well. And he's going to sit by the side now. Uh, I'm going to colour in the flowers. I'm going to share with you how I colour in the flowers. Not all, maybe a few petals uh, for each flower. So I'm going to start off with this yellow flower here first. So what I did was, uh, basically I just coloured in the petals with uh, canary yellow. You can choose any yellow you like. So just, you know, just lightly colour in the uh, uh, petals. And it's going to look like very flat. There's nothing much to it. So I add, have added um, this uh, black cherry, which is somewhat of a dark purple, which actually will turn out... I'm going to zoom you in. Try to zoom you in a bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think it works. Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, black cherry. I'm just going to flick, do flicking uh, motion. Just flick. Yeah, that's how I did for this. You know, some long ones and some short ones. Just flick it. And this, uh, you can use the dark purple, uh, any other and dark purple. So it might look a bit uh, not so nice at the moment. But then later you just blend it in again with uh, canary yellow. And take a darker yellow, which I have chosen. Uh, sunburst uh, yellow and I'm not going to use uh, orange here because I want the flower to look um, um, oh, yellow somewhat because if I keep adding more other colors it will look it would turn out something else I just want to keep this uh, flower yellow yeah so I like that for this uh, petal and at the bottom here keep it darker and at uh, this part here maybe I'll add um, now where's my colored pencil uh, black cherry so I add it inside here because it's like dark in the middle in at the bottom and it's a lot of shadow here so yeah the base would be yellow still but then uh, I'll colour it on top with uh, black cherry and uh, use this uh, sunburst yellow to blend it in. Yeah, like that. So I'll, try, I'll do another one like this. This is the base. It's like a bit of the um, how I did this honeycomb section here. So the base is uh, canary yellow. So I'm just going to do flicking motion. Flick with a uh, black cherry. Flick it down. Follow what uh, Johanna has uh, actually, you know, done. It does not look like uh, nice at the you know in the beginning, but it will eventually. So now I'm just going to blend it back in with the canary yellow. See, then we'll blend it in. If we blend in, and this uh, sunburst yellow. Yeah, then now it has got a bit more, you know, shape to the petal. Dusty. So I'm going to use um, this uh, yellow chartreuse here, or deco yellow, <coughs> excuse me, deco yellow is fine, but I'm going to use a chartreuse, yellow chartreuse for this um, top part so that it has got more light here. Yeah, so this is my yellow flower. Now I'm going to show you um, how I did this pink here so this <clears throat> purplish pink color so I thought I would do on this flower here and 
I'm going to start off with this um, Deco Pink. Very, very lightly. Like that. And then I'm going to use <coughs> cream. Then uh, yeah, lemon yellow. I think I did not clean my pencil before this. Uh, let me see if I can take a rubber. Yeah, clean my rubber as well. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so lemon yellow. Not good. Always clean your pencil. Pink, lemon yellow. Uh, that was deco pink. And then I'm going to use uh, pink over the top here. Blend it uh, back in with deco pink. And then I'm going to use um, lavender. Blend, yeah, like that. Um, mulberry would be nice. Mulberry, give it more depth and shadow. Yeah, for this petal. And flicking motion. Uh, I could also add uh, this black cherry. Like that. So we shall do one more here. So what I did was I did this um, um, yellow chartreuse. I think so I did yellow chartreuse. Doesn't really matter. So yellow, any light yellow will do. I could have used pink. Not sure. I can't remember now. <laughs> pink, uh, beige, uh, cream, sorry. And then uh, deco yellow. Uh, deco pink, sorry. Deco pink. And pink. It's a lovely combination. I like this combination. So it's pink. Well, every petal is not going to be the same. It's not going to be uniform. You know, or else it's going to look somewhat uh, unnatural. Yeah, so this is pink and then I'm going to use uh, yellow chartreuse here on the flower like this and then uh, what did I use? Uh, lavender and this mulberry or you can use processed red as well. Mulberry processed red. It would somewhat uh, give the effect. Yeah. And at the bottom here, mulberry. And I'm going to use this yellow here to blend it in. It's the bottom of the other petal. And mulberry. I shall finish this up here. Yeah, I kind of like uh, how it can, how it has turned out, and uh, this process. Uh, no, deco pink. There, there we go. Deco pink, pink. pink Pr 
process uh, decoping. I don't know, I kind of like this petal, this color combination. And pink. Uh, mulberry. And for the um, this part inside here, what I'll use is I will use I have used um, chartreuse. So basically, it's just like uh, color in the base first chartreuse. And then I have added in this olive green. Olive green, kelp green, it's fine. So just add in this part here. And I'm blending in with our uh, chartreuse. And a lime peel. Lime peel for this um, middle part here. Light umber. And maybe light umber for, you know, this uh, shadow beads here as well. It's fine. And Kelp, uh, sorry, uh, lime peel. And I'm going to uh, color the sides here with uh, yellow chartreuse. That's my neighbor's cat. Yeah, so this is how I um, color in my uh, petal, the middle part. So the darker part, actually, I have added uh, this part here. If you see, quite uh, it's quite dark. I have uh, actually put more olive uh, green at the base here because it's quite long. You see this uh, somewhat the middle part of the you know tiny petals here. So it's that, and I can still go over it again. And build up the color as uh, how you wish, you know, how dark you want it. So it, you can just, uh, you know, add more colors as you go. And this is lime peel again, blend it in. So there are actually a lot of colors. Yeah. Yeah. So and then what are what are the flower? What are the colors uh, did I use? Um, shall I? Shall we do? Let me zoom you out. Shall we do this one here? Yeah, I have to turn the, you know, maybe I'll, I will do it on this flower. Yeah, so this one here, um, I what I did was, I used a crimson leg for the middle part here. It was Tuscan red as well. I think I did use a bit of a Tuscan red, but... I'm not sure where my Tuscan red is at the moment. No, it doesn't matter. A crimson leg. 
Did you have another flower? Another color. So it's crimson lake. And then the base, the base is, uh, I think I'm going to use orange. Very, very lightly. Orange base. And then blend it in with um, this uh, sunburst yellow. I like this sunburst yellow. The color is so cheerful and it's so nice. Yeah, see, let me blend it in. Uh, now black cherry for the depth inside here. And this uh, poppy red. So orange, yeah, just play around with this uh, few colors and you get the petal. So orange, and then I used uh, this crimson leg. And blend it in with a sunburst yellow. And poppy red. So you just use the flicking motion like that. And a bit of a, a canary yellow just to give it a bit of highlight. Yeah. So there we have it. A similar uh, pick, uh, flower as this one here. Yeah. So this one is of a darker color, which uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to do it uh, where? I think I'm going to do it on this flower here. So I'm going to zoom you in. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, this one I use pink. So I've going, I'm going to use uh, this deco pink first for the base. And then um, this pink, that, that was deco pink, pink. Build the colors up. And mulberry. Leave the middle part so that it looks like it's glossy a bit. Um, then a violet. Now violet, I'm going to just flick it. Yeah, and this uh, black cherry. And uh, where's that uh, mulberry? Deco pink. There. There we have another uh, petal like that. So I'm going to do another one. Uh, did, I did use deco pink as the base. And then pink. And mulberry. Flick it.
bit of a violet. Flick it. And then, uh, what's this? Um, yeah, I'm going to use a bit of a black raspberry now for the base, for the, you know, the. And that was my stomach. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat after this. And um, give it a bit of a bluish hue, violet. And blend it in with deco yellow. Yeah. So like that, I'm going to continue, um, you know, colouring in this whole picture here. which And this is actually a colour along with, uh, not colour along, colour, uh, body colour with colouring with K. So hope you enjoyed the video, how I shot, you know, a short, uh, you know, video of how I colour in the petals. So thank you for watching and till the next video, Jogi says, bye bye, take care and happy colouring. Bye bye everyone. Subscribe. If you have not already, it would help my channel a lot. Thank you very much for your support. Bye-bye.